C'est bon. Oui. Hello boys, this is me, Patikari. I'm a Gengar at Nirmal Heroes. I'm an ex-PBX player. And it's good to be back at home. Garwal, PBX. Today, I have a new sir, my coach for a session, a master class at Four Fingers. So here is he. Welcome back. And my name is Anup Singh. Uh, I'm the head of the grassroots and performance uh, analyst at BBFS and this is our second week of our master class series and today we're going to talk about how how fingers develop their strength. So how are you Mike? I'm good coach. I hope you're doing uh, very well at home and uh, doing something. Yeah. Work out at you. So uh, the first question I'm going to uh, ask you okay, like as a winger, what do you think? What are your strengths you see as a winger? I think I have a good speed, I have good control with the ball. You have always seen that. And I can run with the ball, I have good balance, I am basic, and I can take down any full back or defender I want. So this is, these are the like physical uh, capabilities, these are the, what, what, are, what about the technical thing? What, like what, what does a winger need to develop and take technical abilities? I think a winger should always have a good power in his glutes, in his muscles, in his calf so he can run better, take down the defenders easily and always have a good balance. A good balance always as a player to help you keep, uh, keep in touch with the pitch and with the defenders so you don't get lost. Okay, what about the ball control? Yeah, ball control is basically a very important part of the field as well. When you have the ball, you have a good control with the ball. This, uh, this should always be a good friend, a good friend with okay. always help you. That's great. And like in this situation, I hope uh, we are not training right now. So all the training are uh, shut it down. All the centers are down. So uh, like in during this pandemic situation, how are you keeping your physical uh, uh, demands and your technical abilities? How are you improving yourself? How are you maintaining those things at home? Coach, you have already helped us with good plans and with good techniques to help us with. You have, good, okay, you have given us good plans to follow. So every day I wake up at 5, go to the park, there's a nearby park in, my, in front of my house. So every day I try to do a 30 to 40 minutes workout that you have given, which you have helped us. So I try to follow it and basically do it for a couple of time. And then after I finish it, I have a random game in the evening. So I keep it touching the ball. That's great. So uh, it's good to know, like you are following our plans. So stay tuned guys and they are, we are going to start a workout. So as uh, you guys know, so today we are going to talk about okay, how the fingers develop their strengths. Now in that, uh, in this workout, we are going to talk about uh, their strength, how they are going to develop their strength, their uh, stability and what they need to actually accelerate fast on the pitch. So obviously we cannot run because we are inside and hope you guys are also following, following us at home and doing workout along with us. So stay tuned and the workout is coming for you. So we're going to start with our warm up and then we're going to move on the foundation exercise and then at the end we're going to uh, do the cool down. And there are a lot of challenges like the last time. Uh, today also we uh, bring some challenges for you. So hope you stay tuned and come, try to complete those challenges. So are you ready, Mike? Yeah, coach. Okay, right. So our uh, warm up first, we're going to do uh, three exercises. Okay, so first one, I'm going to show you first. So this is simple tic tac. Okay, now this is for the basic foundation because when you run, you run on the front part of your toe. Okay, so this is very important part. So we're going to strengthen the first toe part. Okay, in this way. Then the second exercise is to go uh, explosive. Okay, we go move and then try to move forward and then try to go back with the ball. Okay, third one, you have to go side to side with the ball and roll. Okay, just roll and then move. Okay, so each exercise you do for 30 30 seconds. Okay, so when I have to change, you change, and between the exercise, we're going to have 10 second rest. Okay, so hope you guys are ready now. We're going to start. So let me start a watch. Ready? And one, two, three, go, and stop. Let's go. So keep doing this. Now when you're doing this, you try to keep 
equal distance less between at least your shoulder width. Yes, and then also your hands. You need to work on your hands when you sprint, when you run. So the leg and hand coordination are very, very important. And you have to stay on your toes every time for the good posture. So going good. Okay, and stop. Let's change. Now the next one is we're going forward, forward and backward road. Okay. Uh, wait, on my count, it's five, four, three, two, one. And let's go. Stop. Well done. Again, can you open up your hands? Yes. Good work. So slowly, slowly, your muscles get warm for the next activity. So, these are the very basic exercises. Right, to strengthen your toes, to strengthen your hip flexor, and obviously, like the biggest strength is to control the ball. Right, so this is the ball muscle exercises that you can do at your home. And stop. Right, and we rest. Okay, so hope you're feeling a bit warm with this. That's great. Now we wait for 10 seconds. The next one, we're going to do side to side roll. Okay, you can move the mat forward. That's it. Right. And ready? And let's go. Stop. Let's go. Well done. So these are the exercises that you can include in your daily routine. So whether you are at home, whether you are doing training at field, so these are the very basic ball manipulation exercises that you should do every single day. And if you are young, then obviously these are the very very important skills for to keep the ball close when you are in a very tight situation. These, these skills are going to help you on the field in the game. Okay, and stop. Well done. So these three we have done. Now we are going to move. So now uh, before moving to the next one, I want to uh, give you one challenge that uh, especially I bought for you. So I hope you can do it and this is the challenge for you guys also. Okay, so what you have to do in this challenge, uh, we are going to start, this is called soul tap juggling. So you have to bounce the ball, okay, and then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, my God. It's a bit hard. So let's see whether you can do this or not. So let me try. Okay. Uh, let's can we do this? let's make it up for you. Let's do it with your wiggle foot. Oh my god. So I, I don't have, I don't really have a wiggle foot. My uh, foot uh, right foot is my dominant foot. But let's do it with left. Okay. So let's try with the wiggle foot. So this is a challenge given by the mind. So first let's see whether he can do it or not. Okay. It's your turn. We do for the 30 seconds. And we're going to count and then let's see can we must can do it or play, let's go. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, Let's see, can you beat it or not? Okay, well done. Right, so now I think hope you are warm up properly. Very well, very well. Very well. So now we are going to move on some stability exercises, which are very basic exercises when you sprint. So first of all, you have to strengthen your lower part and especially your toes, your knees, your hip flexor in this way. Okay, so we are going to start with our calf raises. Okay. This one, so you just have to go up and then one leg and then down. Okay, so both legs up, this and down. Okay, if you're feeling difficulty in balancing yourself, you can use like this. You can use one hand up, go up and then down. Okay, now if you're a beginner, you just you don't have to move your leg up. What you can do, you can just uh, hold the wall and then go up and down, up and down. So we're going to strengthen the front part of it. Our toes and then calf muscle we will stretch. Okay, so 20 seconds we're going to do ready and stop up down 
up, down, up, down, up, down. So now when we are doing this, why we are doing this? It's very important. This is for the posture also. So when you run, if you look at it, so this is the back side. Okay, when you run, you have to keep your back straight and this part totally stretched. And what mistake we done, when you run, sometimes we lean forward and sometimes we keep our knee bent, so we don't stretch our knee and this hamstring when we are running. Okay, okay, and we change. The next leg. And go. Yes. The next part is this leg. So this leg should be parallel to your body. And obviously, your hand movements are very, very important to coordinate with your legs. Voila. Here we go. Three, two, and one, and down. That's it. Well done. So, the next exercise we're going to do is a bit tough, okay, but very, very important for you to strengthen your legs, okay, to prepare yourself for the explosive exercises. So, in this one, what you have to do is, you just have to first balance, keep your body straight, okay, and now when you go, you have to move slowly on your front part and try to balance yourself. It's a bit tough, you can try, but if you want the easy version, if you're a bit beginner, then what you can do, you can simply hold the wall and like throw this, like this, okay? But make sure you keep your body structure straight and do this. Okay, mind? Ready? And let's go. Okay? Now, one thing you have to remember is good to balance like this. Okay, but when you run, you don't run like this. So, what you have to do is, in this position, you have to keep your hands in the running mode. So, if this leg is up, okay? Exactly. You have to stay in this mode. And less is up to you. If you're not uh, familiar with this uh, exercise, no problem. You can move, hold for three seconds, and then you can come down. You can move up, hold for three seconds, you can come down. But make sure you stay straight, don't lean forward like this. Okay, and change. And change. Next leg, hold on. Okay, so now we're going to stretch. So basically, when you're going for the stretch, now the stretch you need to in your hamstring because a lot of players get the injuries in the hamstring when they do the explosive runs, accelerate fast, okay, in the high speed running. And the another stretch that you need is your hip flexor, which is very well involved in your running, okay. So the next one is hip flexor and hamstring stretch. So simple, come down on your knees. Okay, you go forward, but make sure your knee should not go beyond the toe. You go, and then you have to come back at the same time. So we go five, five, both sides. Okay, ready? And let's go. One, and down. Two, and down. Three, and down. So when you're doing this, you feel the stretch in your glutes, right? You feel the stretch in your hand. And obviously, your hip flexor going to stretch. So when you're doing this, make sure your knee should not come beyond this toe. And the last one. And go. Right. Okay. Now, the next one, we're going to do the knee bend. Okay but uh, in a different way. So you have to lay down on the mat. Lay down on the mat. Exactly. Okay. So this leg will go over the other leg. Okay. So this is, yeah, this is a single leg glute. Okay. So this is again, you have to make it at 90 degree. Exactly. And that one is a 90 degree. You have to lift your pelvis. Uh, back as high as you can in this position. Okay, so we hold for one second and then we come down. Okay, so we're going to do 10, uh, 5, 5 each, 5, 5, 5, left. Yeah. Okay, ready? So up, 1, and down, up, and down, up, 
and down, up and down, up and down. And the last one, up and down. Okay, next leg. Right, so up and hold. So, are you getting the stretch yeah. properly? Okay, and down. Good. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. And the last one. Up and down. Well done. Good work. Okay, so these are the, our uh, stretching and the stability exercises. Very basic and is anyone can do this if you are a kid, if you are a mature player, professional player. These are the very basic exercises that you can include when you are going for your speed and acceleration exercises in the game. Okay, right. So, uh, like you said, you are working out. Uh, like I have already given you the plan to work out on the physical, but obviously I didn't include these basic exercises. Those are a bit complex. So, uh, do you uh, do any exercises from your side at home? Any any strengthening exercise or any kind of uh, exercise that you like most doing at home for your exposiveness? Uh, for me, in the winter, I always try to have a good high speed, have a good, have good legs, okay. so I can run better, I can shoot better, okay. and obviously take the load when the field gets tough, the condition gets tougher. So every time I train, I train my legs, and my thighs, and my calves better. So I have this a really small, uh, small challenge for you. If you can beat this challenge, there's one thing that I do every day. Is, not every day. Uh, when I skip one day and I do it again. So like once a week. Basically like this, yeah. Sure. Exactly. So this, uh, this one challenge. Uh, if, if if you can if you can beat me, if you can do this, if if you guys can do this challenge, post this, uh, take this screenshot and post uh, post this video. Doing it on your on BBFS Facebook or Instagram page. Let's read it. So, another challenge coming for you. So, all you have to do is, is keep the ball up high as you can, straight hand, and try to do a single leg pistol squat. Oh my god, this is a pistol squat, then again okay. it's a bit tough. But can you beat it? Let me? Then, oh, let, me try, let me let me tell you how to do it. Okay, first. okay. So, as the ball high as I can, as I can, uh, can keep it. So, here's my leg. Okay. Give it on the side. Okay, one. Ooh, two, two, three, four. Would I collapse? No. Four and five. Oh my! That's a great one. So I think this is a bit tough challenge and is going to uh, challenge all the professional players also, right? Maybe. Yes. So yes, if, if the kids can you do it, this one. All the boys, all the BPFS boys, I challenge you to do this, uh, do this challenge. And if you can do this, post the video on uh, BPFS or Instagram page. That's good. Okay. So now I can see he's doing something at home. He's not sitting uh, and IG. eating and getting fat. That's a good one. Okay. So this part is done. Stability. Now we're going to move some exposure exercises. Okay. Last time uh, we had a lot of volume in the exercises and less rest. Now this time what we are going to do, we decrease the volume and increase the rest because when you are doing the explosive exercises, you have to less volume and more rest. So you can do the same activity again at higher speed and same higher speed. strength. Right? Okay. So first one, again this is a basic but a bit explosive. So very basic exercise to improve your posture and to improve your hand and leg coordination. So we call it a skip, but a bit uh, different version for this. So you're going to start with this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, nine. Okay. So this is your running movement, right? So are you ready? So this is we're going to do uh, 20 second each leg. Okay, and here we're going to actually increase the time, rest time in between. So we're going to have 45 seconds of rest in between. Okay, ready? Take your position and we're going to start. Let's go. So we have already worked on the stability exercises. So when you have when you're moving on your toes, you have to strengthen on your toes. So actually you can plant your foot properly on the ground and push it with force. Okay, change the leg. 
¿Verdad? Ready? Let's go. So, again, the important part, your hands. Tuck in. Okay, you should go from pocket to cheek. Okay. And posture, you have to be straight in this posture. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, well done. Now you can catch your breath. Okay. So what do you think? What do you think about this exercise? This is very intense. This is very intense. Okay. So maybe with balancing and yes. power. Yes. And of course with your endurance. Good. So you can include this one also in your basic routine. Okay. So now we're going to have a rest for at least 15, 45 seconds, and then we move. So by the time you can have some sip. So the next one we're going to do. Uh, this jumping lunges, okay? It's a bit explosive. It's going to work out on the whole strength of your body, okay? And definitely it's going to give uh, some explosive when it's in accelerate, okay? So you have to stay in the same position. So you go up, okay, in this way. So you go up and then you have to come down suddenly, okay? So again, the same thing you have to work on your hand action, your leg movement. Okay, it should come at least this 90 degree and then when you come down it also should go the 90 degree. Okay, ready? So 3, 2, 1, 20, 20 seconds each leg, okay? Well done. Good one. So when you are doing this exercise, okay, so you try to let on your toes, front toe. Okay, not on the whole step. So point, you land on your toe and then come on your heels. And stop. And you change. Okay, well done. So, uh, my, can you just hold yourself in one position when you're going down, like this? From up to down. Exactly. So when you're doing this, okay, so this needs to be 90 degree. This needs to be 90 degree for proper stretch, okay? And hands is again the left and the alternate hand in this way, okay? So, next leg. Yep, Ready? And start. Let's go. So, this is a exclusive exercise for you to increase the ground contact. How are you going to push quickly the ground? How much force you need to push it down? Three, two, and one. Well done. So I can see it's sweating now, but let me make you uh, just for a reminder. We're going to do two sets of this. This, these are the two uh, circuits, right? Okay. So hope you guys following this and doing at home, right? And the next one. Uh, I think you guys are very well uh, familiar with this and a lot of time you have done it but I am sure if you are doing it most of the time wrong okay so next exercise we are going to do the inclined wall climber okay there is another version which we do with the mountain climber but yeah. this is the version okay so basically this version is for to see the posture and how your legs at what angle your legs will come okay right so this is what we are going to do for the 20 seconds continuously and have to push harder with your legs okay, while balancing on the wall. So can you position yourself on the wall? Okay, now in this posture, what you have to do, you have to, this back, you cannot put it down. So a bit there, hands should be in front of the shoulder. Okay, now this one, you have to stretch on your toes. Stretch on your toes, come on your toes, exactly. So you feel a good stretch in your body. That leg is also in that stretch. And the this shape, if you look at this shape and this shape, it should be parallel in this way. Okay? So now can you go slow, slow like this? Yes? And stay on your toes. So when you're running, this is your actual posture. So I think you are leaning a bit forward, so I want you to come a bit forward, no, come come forward, come forward, move forward, yes, because you have to keep this straight. So now, what mistakes a lot of kids and a lot of players do in this one, they go like this, 
like this, they look down, okay, hands are here, they go like this, okay, so this is the wrong way of doing it, what you have to do is, you have to stay straight, like this, and try to push the ball, okay? and then go, and move, so stretch, and up, okay, got it, well done, so we go 20 second, full, just move a bit, we can move the mat forward if you want, exactly, yes, right, keep your back straight, yes, right, and let's go, quick. Exercise it to do for more, but to make sure if you're going for two or three reps of it, it needs more breath in between. And stop. Okay, well done. Right. So, still, there is a room to improve the posture. I mean, in this exercise, you definitely have to improve your posture while doing this. Okay, otherwise, uh, you never get uh, that situation of proper running. Okay. Right. Now, uh, I think in the training we do a lot of these, which we call the ladder training or the steps. So when we run, there are three things that are uh, very important and very really matter. Okay. First, your uh, strengthening of your legs. Okay, explosiveness. Second is the posture of your body, how you're running, which is very very technical. Third thing is the frequency, how frequently you are pushing the ground and how frequently you are hitting the ground. So if I talk about Usain Bolt, if he complete 100 meter in 10 seconds, then obviously he run like 4.5 or 4 to 5 steps in each second, right? So that's a frequency and stride also matters. So here we are going to work on the frequency of our stepping, okay? So you are going to start from it, right? And then we go like this, straight for 20 seconds. Okay? Hands, posture, and then stretch. Ready? And go. Let's go. So now, when you're doing this, you can see, and I can actually analyze in this one. And stop. Okay, now can you hold your position in the way the way you were doing? Right. right. So when he was doing, his neck was like this. There is a curve in this. Okay, you don't have a curve. You have to keep it straight. The body exactly look forward because we don't have to look down while you're doing this. Then we have to go, same thing, that, that was good. But now, if we talk about the legs, so Mike, can you come to set? So, if we talk about the legs, we don't want to go high knee because very, these are the very basic steps. okay? We just want to go in this way. So, this leg straight, body straight, okay? And then, simple, you have to just need a stretch, whole stretch. And then when you move it forward, and go inside with, and when you come in back, you have to stretch this whole part. Okay, so, and the mistake a lot of players do, they bend their knees, step, 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 go like this. So the important part is to stretch your body, keep it straight. Okay, now we go. Ready? Can we do it again? Okay, let's go. Yes, do one. And stop. Well done. That's it. So this is this is our first circuit that we have completed. Okay, but we have to repeat all these exercises. So it's not done yet. Okay. Right. So you can take a break. You can take a sip, and we're going to do all these exercises again. Okay. So I'll, it's better I just keep it here so we can run it faster. I hope you guys are doing 
along with us. And even if you're watching, then it's best way to master class because even if you're not doing anything, then you'll be learning something from here and take it to the ground. Okay? So, uh, my, so when we are resting now, we can uh, just ask something about like, how you maintain your diet at home. My diet? Uh, it was always difficult to have a good diet. Like I always wanted it to be not three times a day, but six times a day, which all athletes do follow. One of my favorite, one of my favorite players do follow it, and I think all the professionals do it. So it's always good to have a have your diet divided into six parts, not three, not eight, not eight big meals three times a day, but I think breaking it by six times a day. So okay. every day I try to follow it. If not big, or I, of course I have a big breakfast every day. But every day also I try to do it six times, six times a day. So breaking the meal, eating small parts, but keep eating after every four to, four to six hours. So I think everyone very uh, curious to know, uh, which one is your favorite meal? If you talk about breakfast, my breakfast always consists of milk. For when I was young, I never used to skip my milk. Even if I miss everything, I never miss my milk. So I don't wait for my milk. So I have a Every day I have a glass of full, cool, cool glass of milk, some eggs, or some breads, and oats. And oat, oats are things are very important. Yes. So every day I have, I eat it every day, oats. Okay, so that's good. And if you're listening to this, then definitely hope you include this in your breakfast. Yeah. Okay? So, Case, n- never miss milk. Never. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on another step, right? And I can see your the heartbeat is already up by doing this. So this is not the easiest workout. So people think if they run on the ground every day they become fast. No, but it's always start from the gym sessions and all the stability exercises that you have done. Okay. So a skip again. 20 20 seconds. Ready? And let's go. And stop. Take some rest, no problem. We're going to give so many rest. Okay, and today there's another challenge for you guys. So after the session, we're going to bring one more challenge. And let's see. There were lot, there were a lot of entries in the last session, but uh, kids were less who performed it. But this time, this is for the kids. Okay, so if you can do it, then even he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Yeah. Obviously. Like, I'm, I'm getting old, you guys are young, and he's young, so let's see whether he can do it or not, then you guys, I'll come to you. Okay, so next one, ready, let's go. So you can see now, the posture is uh, getting better, slowly. This and last one, three, two, one, and stop. Voila. Okay, next we're going to do the jumping like this. Okay, you can take a set in between. So, one more thing I want to say when you're doing these exercises, you don't need so big space, right? You can do these at home because right now, obviously, we cannot go out and play. So, if the space that you need is very less for these exercises and if you are planning to go out on the field so you can do these uh, stability and the foundation exercise before going on the field that that you can use as a warm up also at home and you are ready to go and play on the field so and definitely it will keep you away from the injuries ok next one jump in like this ready and let's go stop Hold on. Posture is getting better. 
This parallel feet you look back a bit straight and you're doing this. And stop. Let's change. Okay, for my count, let me go. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Let's go. Good. So try to keep your back straight when you're going down. Yes, exactly. Yes. Can you open up your hands? Good. And down. And stop. Are you done? So slowly, slowly you're coming back on your good posture. Right? Okay. Next one. Incline the ball, climb up. So you're going to climb the ball again. You can bring it close. Yes. Great. On my count. So first, get your posture back. No issue. Exactly. So back straight. This leg stretch and that leg pad into your body. Okay. And ready? And let's go. Stop. So now we are moving to our last exercise of this workout. So again, now we move into the steps. Okay. Is it tough? Pretty tough. Pretty tough. Okay. Right. So pretty tough. No issue. But yes, if you want to become professional, then obviously you have to do some tough workouts. Right? Okay, should we go now? No. Okay, 20 seconds. Okay, now this time uh, I want a big variation. If you can add in this, we go forward, and then backward, and then forward, and side, and backward, and forward, and backward, and then side. Can you do this? Back, move. Okay, ready? Wait and let's go. And down, and down, and down. Last round. Three, two, and one. Good work. Actually a pretty tough workout, but he has done it. <laughs> it's uh, tougher than the last workout, but obviously very basic. So now we are moving to the last part of our uh, session. So cool down, so you can might go in to drink a lot of water after this. You already finished two bottles of water. It's hot. Right. It's hot. <laughs> really hot. doing this workout. Right, so now you can relax. Now we can move these and move to our cool down part okay so this one to ask you okay. how are you feeling right now it's good it's good to be back and doing technical stuff okay other than training myself at home by being with you okay. and you doing the things thank you, you. <laughs> thank you okay so now can we move to our cool down and slowly we can move to our end of the session also Right. So what you have to do, you have to sit down on the floor, okay? And you have to bend your legs exactly in this way. Right. So this is something we always used to do in the training also. And in this one, you just you can take the help of the floor, okay, to balance yourself, and then you have to rotate both legs on the other side. Exactly. So this is going to give you a good stretch in your hips. Right, and definitely going to uh, give you stretch in your flexor also. Okay, so we have to go for the five form. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, like this, and then we move on the next one. Okay, ready? So starting position. 
and stop. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. That's a good one. And the second one, we're going to do it. So what you have to do in this one, you have to lay lie down on the mat, on the back. Exactly. Okay. So this, yes, you have to keep one well leg like over the knee and try to grab it from inside. Yes. And try to push it toward your chest. You feel a good stretch in your glutes in this way. So one, two, three, four, five. And change. And stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. That's good. Okay, so the next one is you have to lie down on your chest. Okay, now you have to hold your legs. Exactly. So when I say up, then that time you have to move up and you count. So this is going to give you a nice stretch in your spine. It's going to give you a good uh, open up of your back muscles. Okay, ready? Up. Good, and hold. One, two, three, we're going to ten, okay? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? Down. Well done. One more time, we go. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well right done. Okay. And the last one is very simple. So just sit down. You know the butterfly. Okay. Just to stretch the groin area in this. Exactly. And try to. Yeah. Like butterfly. Okay. So you can go. Do that. Yeah, and stop. Till my ten count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think I was like. eight, <laughs> nine, and ten. That's it. Well done. And for what? He's fit now, I can see. It was the test for him. Right? So... Did you pass? Obviously, you did. So, you already passed when I did that test to the squad. So, you already passed my test. Okay? So, now I'm going to ask, like, about the session. How did you feel about this session? It was really good. It was really happening. Although, I didn't expect it. A uh, little tougher from you when you did it. Okay. You always will be <laughs> on the beginning when I was with you in under 18 BBFS. So it, could, it always feels good to be working out with you and be back at BBFS. Great. So uh, now we move to a few questions I, I have in my mind. So like uh, if you have to uh, suggest something for the kids to improve as a like in their dribbling. So what are you going to improve? I think this is a, this is a question that I've got from a lot of kids. Ke sir, kya karna chahiye, kya nahi karna chahiye. So I want you, because you are the winger, uh, first team winger in our team and start, started so many games for us. So definitely you can give the best answer okay, of this. So what do you suggest? What they have to improve in your dribbling and what you do in dribbling basically to improve it? See, basically our winger need to be fast. Okay. That's the basic requirement our winger should have. So me being fast, so I always suggest the kids to be fast, to have good uh, ball control that you must have told everyone, every kid, every, even you tell us to do it now and of course have good balancing techniques so you can take down any defender in a okay. dollar speed. So now when you run, how much important is that like stop, start, like change the direction for you? See, if, if you ask me, uh, my personal favorite is stop and start. If you ask me what skill do I follow, so every time I get the ball in the wing, or if, uh, any part of the field, I try to run and break the pace of the defender. So if you are running with me, I stop the ball, so I break your pace, cut inside and take you anywhere in the field. So I keep on changing my direction, so I can confuse the defender. Okay, that's great. 
So I think now you guys uh, know okay, which skill are uh, being very very important for the beginner. So stop and start. Why do you use stop and start? To break the pace. To break the pace of the defender. Exactly. So to break the pace of the if the defender is coming with you, so suddenly you stop to break the pace of the defender, and then you can accelerate quickly. And, and yes, if it can break his pace, even if he's faster than you, there's no big problem in it. If it can break his pace, if it's 10, 50 percent faster than you, it doesn't matter. So if you can break his pace, it's good. So if you stop, then if he's speedier than you, then he'll move forward and then go ahead. So what I've seen in the past, like he scored a lot of goals like that. So if the if, if the fullback is very speedy, he can move forward, he suddenly stop and then change the direction to go in front of the goal and score with the shots. So I think uh, these are the very, very important skills that I also uh, think for the kids. And if you are listening this, then obviously try to improve your stop and start and the change of direction. Okay, so the next question I'm going to ask about it, and this, this is a question I got so many times from the kids also. Like how you improve, how you work on this skill, like before coming to the BBFS and how you used to improve and work on these kind of skills that make you uh, better every day. Uh, so uh, when, when I was 11 years old, I think I was in the first batch of BBFS. I was in under 12 academy of course with Anupsa and for, with Vikas Rawas as my, as my coach. So before coming to BBFS, I always had a small games playing uh, in my park. Not in my park, of course, everyone's. So every day we had small, small side games, five side, six side games. See, five, uh, kids, five side, six side games are very necessary for you, even for coaches, even for us, uh, us professionals. It helps you to think fast, be more pacey, be more skillful, and it helps you with the game. When you play in big games, you have a lot of time. You can think, and in that game you can think fast, act cool, and of course having good skills is always important. So it was. Really uh, easy for me to adapt the BBFS way. They taught me things more technically, tactically later, but technically uh, in the beginning. So they helped us. They helped me with uh, playing small side games when I was young, when I was eleven. So yeah, it really helped me at that time. Okay. So and the one more question from my side, like when I used to play, there were no online classes, there were nothing. So what I used to do, I used to go and watch the YouTube. I used to watch Ronaldo or Ronaldo. It's my favorite. So I used to watch him and try to copy him and do the skills like him and then say again. So that's how I grew. So during your time, like there was YouTube also, but there were only online classes at that time. No, 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 there were no online classes. I think you kids are very fortunate to have the uh, BBS coaches and these online classes that can help you with, you know, with skill sets and, and of course enduring sets. So when I was a kid, I had no online classes. All I had is the park, me, and some great coaches like Anupsa. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's. I think uh, I took so much time. So I think there are so many questions from the audience also. So I think we should take. So if you have any questions, right, then obviously. Uh, so a few questions okay. are there. Uh, okay. So one of the participant, Akash, asked, "What is the uh, to to money?" What is the one thing about football that you love the most? I think if you if you love something, there's uh, no no condition, nothing you have, you uh, love about it. It's just your your inside gut, inside your gut feeling that you love about it, and that's why you start playing it. Like when I when I want, uh, when I started playing, there was nothing that I want to play professional. I want to earn money. I want to get famous. I just played it because I want to play. It. There was no reason behind it. But if you ask me why do I play football and why do I love it, the, I think the simplest answer would be that I love playing. There is no, no question about it, no second thought about it that, that I have in my mind. So I play football because I love it and there is no condition and nothing like why do I love football. I just love it. Okay. So does it release your stress? So when you have stress, does it uh, let playing football release your stress? The only stress I, I did in my life is when I had exams, when I was when I was in my school. So that's right. The, that's the worst stress I can get. Otherwise, I had no stress. Football helped me in everything, in making me a good person, or uh, uh, having or uh, giving me a good character, and of course, building me what I am today. If I, if football didn't exist, even I wouldn't exist. So yes, football helped me a lot of times. So it is pressure, stress, everything. Okay, so next question, let's go. So Maheep, another question uh, from Abhir. 
He wants to know about your journey of football player. That's a pretty long story, but uh, let me cut it down for you. Uh, football was never my game. I always wanted to do. I, I never had any particular game in my life. So when I when I was really young, the, uh, the BPL was kind of a small tournament, in which my school participated, and we played. We were finalists in that tournament, and Bajun Bhutia personally. Uh, asked me to join BBFS and when I was and he started me for it. So that's how my journey became. Begin uh, when I I got into uh, under 11 with of course Anup sir and Vikas sir, and that's how my journey started. Uh, they helped me not with strength not with speed gradually gradually but uh, for earlier with my earlier days they helped me with tactical things and technical things and later on when I they uh, they have given me a lot of exposure. From taking me for uh, international tournaments from Netherlands, Portugal, and then taking me for under 18 I League, uh, which was my first crucial tournament, I think, and then finally uh, scouting me for football. And that's the best part of my life, I think. So I think BBFS is what I, all I have. Well, they made me what I am, simply. So moving towards some technical questions for Anut sir. Okay. So Anut sir, uh, Arav asked you that is training individually a good thing? First part and second, he wants to know that how much you know positive outcome it shows up. So uh, this is a very good question actually. Okay, and a lot of kids don't know. So uh, it's very very important to train individually because that time you are focusing on yourself and what you need, right? So if you are working like. Uh, if I give up my example, I was very bad in aerial resilience and aerial workout. So what I used to do is I used to do juggle the whole day at my home. So I'll keep juggling, 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 even if I fail so many times. So first of all, it uh, keep you away and don't you don't fear about the failure actually because there is no one to look at you and telling you okay you are failing again and again. So it's uh, keep your mind away from the failure, you fail so many times but still you can do it on your own and you discover so many things like you can do this but you can do this also. So it creates a lot of opportunity to discover so many things when you do the individual training. So as a coaches we also perform, we call it isolation training but in those training we combine the physical training and the technical training and like right now is a very big chance and big opportunity for you guys to focus on yourself because right now you cannot go outside your house okay so this is your chance to stay at home there's no school you just have to have your breakfast have few uh, school classes and then you're free whole time so what you can do you can have uh, yeah, yeah, you can watch on the youtube some skill and then practice at home and discover what you can do and what you can combine with those skills especially uh, the technical ones that you want to improve at your positions. That's it. So it's very, very important to improve. So uh, one more question, sir. Uh, Amit asked that, uh, you know, he wanted to know who is your favorite ISL player and why? My favorite ISL player. So uh, any particular position, if you say favorite, there are a lot of favorites. So like first on the top is uh, again uh, the Sunil Chetri. I say so Sunil Chetri is uh, always my favorite because he is the top class player who I compare uh, uh, him with the European class so he can stand there also and that effective and if we talk about the other position players that I like so like uh, Ashike is the one then Chante is a very really good if we like today we are doing the wingers workout so I am talking about the wingers also and they are very uh, Uttanta Singh is a very very good example of dribbling explosivity and uh, effectiveness in the game. So Mahit, one more question uh, from Abir. He wants to know that uh, how do you balance your studies and your sport? Studies. Uh, the, the most difficult part of my life. So <laughs> I was really not good in studies, not at all. But I managed to pass my 10th and 12th. Luckily, so or uh, see if you talk if you talk about me, this uh, every individual have their own capabilities, own own caliber. If uh, if there are two people in this room, even three, the cameraman and of course you. So if if you talk about Anup sir or me, we both individuals gonna have different qualities. So if you ask about me, 
Uh, I used to study before my exams, just before my exams. I used to study for few, not few, like for one hour or for just 45 minutes and for that time I used to cover all I can do. So, so but for you kids, you, you, you know you are, you are young, you have, you have parents. All I want to say is that you have to follow your parents. All day, all day, anything they say, everything they say, you need to follow. Uh, maintaining football with studies is pretty difficult, but that's why you choose this game. This is not chess, this is not badminton, this is football. So, you need to take the risk if you want to play football, otherwise they will. Just, uh, if you want to play football, right coach? If you want to play football, you have to take care of your studies too, otherwise they football. Football is for warriors, not for, not for kids, not for uh, uh, light-hearted uh, light people. Football is for warriors. So, you have to manage it. You have yeah. to, so you guys have to conquer both sport and the studies also. Not not all the time, but yeah, manage it equally. Exactly. So I think Fail, it's a, don't get failed. In <laughs> class. Right. So I think it's a good time to give our challenge that we already said evening. So this is for you guys. So what we have to do is uh, this challenge is basically we call it a shoe stall challenge. So what you have to do is take off your shoe. Okay, I hope for you are too. And you just have to lie down like this and make a fist. Keep it on your fist like this and just lay down. And what you have to do? So it's going to It's not good. It's not good. So this is the way. Okay. What you have to do is you have to come up like this. Okay. But this is not the challenge. This is it's just a demo. What you have to do is can you pass the ball? So you have to, oh my god, it's okay, getting very okay. long. Okay, so ball and the shoe lie down, start from the beginning position without losing the shoe and the ball, you have to stand up. That's it. So let's see, hope you guys can do it without falling down. Thank you. So, I think we are done with the session, coach. Yes, thank you so much, Mike, for joining us today. Okay, and I can see you are fit enough and better than before. Okay, and hi, I hope you guys uh, post this challenge on our pages, Facebook, and BBFS Instagram page. Thank you so much. So, uh, see you next. Go, coach, I have uh, this one advice for the kids. Uh, can I give it to them? Well, yeah. This is my personal favorite. Okay. No, yeah. Uh, so kids, uh, I always wanted to be a good player, uh, I guess all, you all want to be a good player and be professional. So this, uh, this, there is one thing that I always follow, uh, I am never afraid of people uh, tougher than me, younger than me or even taller, stronger, anything. But I am always afraid of a player who is smarter than me, even if he is young or old. So kids, uh, BPFS uh, helps you in getting your mind strong. So every time I train, I try to train with hair, not with my legs, not with my uh, anything else. I try to I try to train with my brain, and that's what BBFS is. Then that's why BBFS is different from other 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 clubs. I'm not gonna brag about BBFS. I'm just gonna tell you how BBFS is the best club I can I can have here. So always train from here, not from anywhere else. Well, for your foot are just your tools, and. Thank you, Anusha, for calling me here. And it's okay. been, been, I'm very happy to wear the jersey again. It's been a long time. I've been BBFS for for past six to seven years. Yes. I was a, I was in the first batch, as I told you. So it's always feels good to have the jersey, and, and I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I'm not gonna return it to you. So it okay. was really good to have you and wear the jersey. So again. it's a present for us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you guys okay. for watching us and doing workout with us. Okay, and see you next time. We're definitely going to come up with more exercises and going to improve you on this. So, let's keep it suspense. BBFS, yes! Thank you. Thank you so much.